In today's video, I will be explaining how to use the walkthrough mode found in Keyshot's camera settings. Walkthrough mode is great to use as a camera positioning tool, especially when dealing with interior spaces. It allows you to move around within your scene and see it from a first person point of view. This enables you to move the camera freely without the restraint of having to orbit around a set camera target. So to get started, you can enter walkthrough mode if you go to the camera tab, which I'm already in, and look near the bottom of the position and orientation drop down and there's a walkthrough mode button here. Once you're in walkthrough mode, you'll notice a new camera has been created underneath the active one. And in this case, it was just my free camera. And also at the bottom of the screen, um, a box appears providing a number of different options as well. So starting with eye height, this is the height of the camera in relation to whatever is beneath it. So using the arrows on the right, I can move the camera over the cube in front. And you'll see that eye height change from 2.7 to 0.7. Just changing the value, the camera is just moving forwards over that cube. So it's registering cube underneath it and adjusting that eye height accordingly. If I want to register that cube's there and keep the same eye height, I can tick ground detection. And when I move over that cube now, it's going to bump me up to still be that same eye height over the cube as it was over the floor. If we then tick the lock eye height box, this forces the ground detection to be greyed out. And you can see we go back to that eye height changing every time we go over the cube, but the camera doesn't change position. The eye height has been locked in place in terms of it being 2.7 over the ground plane. Finally, there is the collision detection box. And with this box ticks, you won't be able to go through any geometry. Um, so this is useful, again, if you're in an interior scene and you don't want to go through any of the walls and then clip through. It just make sure that doesn't happen. So if I, I've turned the camera around, as you can see in the geometry view, if I just press back, I go through the geometry. If I have collision detection on, you can see that camera just gets stopped there. As we briefly mentioned before, you can move the camera using the arrows on the right hand side, just as we've been doing throughout the video. You can click and hold onto these, or you can use the arrows on your keyboard as well. However, it is worth mentioning that you have to click on one of these arrows before you try and use your keyboard, just so that Keyshot knows that you're trying to interact with these four buttons. And below that, you've got the sensitivity, which has been set to one. It just increases or decreases the sensitivity, um, which will alter the speed at which you can move around the scene. I could set that to 0.5 and it's going to go slower, set that to 2 and our movement is going to be quicker using the arrows. Then you have a few notes on the right and these are maybe a bit more familiar in terms of ways of navigation that you can also use. So I can click down on the left mouse button and rotate, As again you can see in the geometry view, just rotating how I normally would but just pivoting in place. You can pan with the right mouse button, which is slightly different to normal. And that's just left and right. And also you can do the move to with alt and left mouse button. And you'll see that camera has just jumped all the way over to where we've just clicked. And if I just untick lock eye height so I can go upwards, press alt left click on the top of this cube then the camera's going to move up there as well. Finally, once you're done, you'll want to press the tick. If you press the cross, it will delete that camera that you've created using the walkthrough mode. Press the tick and it will just save that camera. So that was the walkthrough mode in Keyshot. I hope you learned something new. And if you have any questions, then please leave them as a comment below.